Today is 28th June and today's uh, topic relates not only to artists but every single one because it is about not beating yourself up. All right. Now what happens most of the time is whenever we are doing anything, right? And particularly I'll talk about artists first. Whenever an artist is doing anything, let's just say I'm trying to make an artwork. Maybe on Photoshop, maybe graphic designing, maybe painting, maybe a song, anything, all right? We want it to reach the highest level. And if it doesn't, then we beat ourselves up. That is the biggest problem. And that is what we don't have to do. The very simple reason is your life, whoever you are, is much bigger than art or anything that you can do. All right. So the first thing is keep life on the pedestal rather than art on the pedestal. That is the first thing. Once you do that, once we have basically understood that if, if I count now, what is my life? Your life is much bigger than art. Your life is going to be your friends, your family, everybody that you know, everything that you love to do other than your job as well. And so many things. And then work is a little 20% part of it. Okay. But what happens is we get so lost in work or for the non-artistic people, we get so lost in our everyday chaos, maybe politics. Maybe some kind of remuneration that was about to get hiked up. I'll get a 20% increase if I work so hard that I forget my work-life balance. And then I'll get the promotion. We forget it. We lose it. So the first thing that we have to know and understand is that life is way more important and bigger than your job. That is the first thing. The second is, when we are talking about promotions, what are we basically talking about? Improving the lifestyle and the way of living, improving your artwork and improving anything else it can be anything that you're working on. Now here is where I want to build up the perspective. See, or whenever you go to the gym, we look at bodybuilders. But the problem is now, anybody who's trying to be fit for the right reasons, as you say, somebody wants peace. They want their life to be very peaceful, very good. They do not have to become a monk. You can be peaceful as you are. Same way if you're trying to achieve fitness, you can just achieve fitness. You don't have to become a bodybuilder and have those six packs abs or eight pack abs and just amazing body uh, full, of, uh, full of steroids or something. You can be fit as you are. So there is no black and white area. As a, it is not like that, that if it is, doesn't happen, you are unsuccessful. If it happens, you are successful. There is going to be a gray area in between where you have to work. So now let's look at it. How do we go about it? First of all, remember that you don't have to become a monk or the greatest at whatever you're doing right now. You can become eventually. But when we are starting, we start and try to achieve our best and we try to do everything. Now, there is this one uh, community that I run, which is called the journal, uh, the photo journal club. What we do is we take our photos, put it on WhatsApp every single day and we write what is wrong with our photos. This is self criticism for improvement. But nowhere do we say that we are not amazing artists. Looking at your work and trying to improve it is important. But saying that I am doing bad, yeah, I'm not ever going to be good. This is beating yourself up. You don't have to do it. You have to understand the difference between it. And this is where the sentences and the self-talk comes in. There is this topic on TED Talk, which says the power of yet. I am I'm not able to do it. That is a sentence, permanent sentence. I am not able to do it yet. Leaves the possibility of something better happening. So my art is not good yet is a better statement. I am not a good artist is beating yourself up. So this is a message that goes to everyone who is an artist or trying to do anything. If you are in a place where today you have told yourself, man, I'm, it is not working for me or I just hate myself or I cannot do it good enough in a good way. Leave that sentence. If your art is bad, your art is bad. You are not a bad artist. Those are two different things. Sometimes these video explanations are amazing because I'm in a better mood. Sometimes these video explanations suck because I'm tired. The video is bad. The teacher might be different. Yeah, we have to differentiate it first of all. So if you are in a place where you're beating yourself up right now, just differentiate yourself first. Know that, write your name, write that this person is amazing. I have a friend who has stuck. I am the best on their laptop. Write it. And then after that, right, my art is not good yet. How do I improve it? That is self-improvement. If you're going through that 
thing which is beating yourself up. I just hope this video helps you and thank you so much for joining.